What's up guys? So today we're sharing what we eat in a day as, as six, six vegan, vegan kids. kids. Dinner edition. We're actually going to be sharing a vegan Caribbean feast. But before we get to cooking, we'll be taste testing these two new flavors from, from Maxine's, Maxine's Heavenly. Heavenly. We're going to snap our fingers and our little sisters are going to come and taste test these cookies with us. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you can see, our other younger siblings are here, and I think Winston's already trying the cookie. So, <laughs> honestly, hasn't tried it yet. Everyone's about to try it. The first cookie we're about to start off with is Maxine's Heavenly Snickerdoodle. Wait. Here, Wesley. All right, guys, go ahead, taste it. Yeah, I need to taste it. Mm. Go ahead, taste it. Tastes like raisins. Yeah. I want to go watch Bubble Guppies. Alright, go watch Bubble Guppies. <laughs> it's chewy, sweet, a little crunch in there. It tastes very much like their cinnamon raisin. It tastes like a vanilla bomb. It tastes a little bit like there's oats in this. I can taste the oats, coconut, cinnamon. Mmm. This is a really good cookie. I definitely recommend this cookie. Scale mm -hmm. from one to five, what would you give it? Five. Five. Mm -hmm. five. Nice. Five, you'd give it a five? Say five. Actually. You give it a five? <laughs> Actually, I would give it a four because this tastes like the raisin one. Do you prefer the cinnamon raisin over this one? Yes, because it has more flavor. It has the raisins. I prefer this one. Over. This one. I prefer this one over the salmon raisin because this one's better. I think this one's a little more sweet and a little more cinnamon in this. It tastes like it has cinnamon in it. Also for those who don't like raisins, this is perfect. You know, yeah. you like yeah. that cinnamon raisin flavor and you don't like raisins, this is perfect. <laughs> Winston, where are you going, baby? Do you want to try the other one? Bubble guppies. You want to finish <laughs> You want to watch Bubble Guppies? Yeah, I'll open this one. Okay, all right. Bye. <laughs> Wait, four hands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So bye. 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 We believe the strongest connections are made over a home cooked meal. All right. So we got a sponge for the pot. Oh, yeah. Got Ooh. the little lid. Whoa. Ooh. And 
then. <gasps> the pot. Ooh, the pot. Oh, wait, it's a pan. It's a pan. Wow. It's a pot. It's a pan. It's a skillet. Wait, this, is a this, is a, this is the strainer that comes with it. Ooh. Whoa, it comes with a strainer. Whoa. Wow. Look at that, boy! It's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's a spoon, everybody. It's a spoon. Ah, it's a spatula. Look at this, guys. Look at this. <gasps> All right. So that's box number one. Now let's open the smaller box. All right. So we got here. <laughs> chopsticks? I think so. What is, what is it? it like a handy pair of cooking uh, chopsticks uh, to go with uh, your new steamer. Uh, oh, steamer. Right. steamer. What? Oh, steamer. steamer. What's this? Woo. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Fancy, fancy. Oh, another sponge too. Wow. Yeah, baby. Look at this. Damn, this is high quality. Oh, wait, Ooh, they said look at that. Oh, it's a steamer. Oh, there's two of them. Wow. Wow. Yeah, something like Ooh, that. Oh, high quality. Oh, Look at fun. that. Wow. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Thank you, our place. This bag isn't like other bags. It Ooh. is a biodegradable bag and compostable. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, our place. <laughs> All right, so we're about to get started on our vegan Caribbean feed! We've got our always pan that we'll be cooking everything in today, and we'll let you guys know what we think of it. Oh, and by the way, link down below if you want to get yours. By the way, if you've liked the video so far, hit that subscribe button below. If you're new here, our family is from the Caribbean, our mom was born in Trinidad, and our dad's family is from Guyana. So one of the first things we're about to show you guys how to make today is green seasonings. Next, we're gonna be showing you guys how we make our vegan curry beef and shrimp. All right, so we just put the beef and shrimp in the air fryer. We find that gives us the best result for the first stage of cooking them before we cook them up in the pot. We use Gardein, which we get from our local grocery store, but for the best vegan shrimp, we get this shrimp from our favorite vegan grocery store online. We get bulk vegan items from there. Check the link in the description box below and use our code to save $10 on your order. All right, guys, so I know we've shown you curry on this channel before. I will put the video on the screen right now, but today we are making curry beef and shrimp. Woo! Get that. Let that thing simmer. <laughs> and over here, Mookie has some mac and cheese going. Ooh, look at that mac and cheese. Ooh, let's get it. And guys, if you don't know, the curry powder you need to use is Chief Curry Powder, straight from Trinidad. Trinidad. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna show how we make our vegan pillow. All right, so it is time for Rocky to make his pilau. Pilau. Guys, pilau is basically like a cook-up rice with 
different meats and vegetables. Of course, we're using vegan meats and we're using our brand new wow. always pan. This thing is so diesel. It is, right? And guys, this Palau recipe is basically Rocky's uh, fried rice recipe from the cookbook with a couple modifications. So guys, check out that cookbook to get the full recipe. Alright, some of that green seasoning. Here. Mm -hmm. Freshly made. Freshly <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Just need it to bubble a little bit. And. Alright, guys, it's been a little while. Oh, bubbly, bubbly. <laughs> I love that they have the separated handle here, so you don't yeah, get burned. Yeah, so you don't get burned. Yeah. And over here, we already got some rice. Nice and steamed. Guys, if you have rice in your fridge, that's perfect. You know, go ahead and reuse that. That's what you're doing, right, Rock? Yeah. All right. We always find the use for every leftover meal in this Absolutely. house. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's add this rice to the beans. And guys, if you like, you can drain out a little bit of the liquid, but normally the rice absorbs all of the liquid. Luckily, our new Always Pot is equipped to drain out any excess liquid. Yes, you put the lid on, you drain it out, super easy. Yes, it's got, it, it's got these little lips right there on the edge, if you can see, on each side. And it's very easy to drain out any liquid you need to drain out. All right, the chicken is ready. We're about to add it to the pillow. All right. Ooh, it's looking good. Smelling good too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, we're gonna check back in with you. I am going to work on the mango chow. And next, we're gonna show you guys how we make mango chow. <laughs> It's a snack that uses mango. That's one of my favorite foods. Alright guys, so Chris is walking me through how to do the mango chow. So you just add some green seasoning, a squeeze of lime, some salt and pepper, and that's it. You mix and enjoy. <laughs> Next, we're going to show you guys how we make one of our favorite vegan Caribbean dishes. Once you see how easy it is to put together, you'll see why it's one of our most loved cookbook recipes. The other day, I posted about my grandmother's chickens, and now somebody's chicken is like in Dude, our who's... front yard. They... Oh my gosh, what the? What is it eating? <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> What it looks like. Sour. And it smells amazing. The flowers are in there, so we're gonna drain out the flowers now. Mm. Wait, why are flowers in there? 
That's what it is, sorrow flowers. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Uh, let's play. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like, like after you're done. There's all the flowers that you're getting your juice from. Mm. Looks Ooh. like chicken, but it smells like fruit. Look at that. Ooh, buddy. All right, so next up, we're gonna squeeze some lime in there. Also guys, if you're feeling a little frisky, you can um, add some ginger as well. Ginger. For that little bit of spice. It's like wine. I didn't want it, but I know what Game of Thrones wants. <laughs> uh, it's called ale, ale and beer. <laughs> now as Karina mixes, I will go ahead and add some agave. Agave is our family's favorite sweetener. Now guys, we normally put a hint of agave in things, but if you want it a little sweeter, you can always add a little extra into your own cup. Mix well, and then you got some sorrow, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that, mixing up, mixing up. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Look at her face. Rocky. Mm. Rocky. Tasting a hint of lime too. You taste the hint of lime? Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Success. So I'm gonna put the rest inside of the gallon spout. Now we can taste the lime. You can taste the lime? Alright. Yeah, because I want to go with it. Woo! Woo! It's wine! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Mookie is putting his crumble on the top of his mac and cheese. And the boys are singing the background music. <laughs> And he's gonna put this in the oven to broil for how long would you say? Two minutes. Yes. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. Guys, this is the finished result. It smells so good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You ready to eat? Yeah? <laughs> Guys, this always pan is like so easy to clean, probably like the easiest pot I've ever had to clean. It's like, look at that. Guys, I cooked curry in this thing. You wouldn't even be able to tell. That's crazy. <laughs> it's completely dry too. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> Guys, this pan totally lives up to the hype. I can see why you, there is a wait list when you order it. You need to place your order right now and get yourself an always pan. It is amazing. I cannot wait to make pancakes in this. Absolutely, place. man. Woo, I can't wait to eat those pancakes. Can't wait till all our pans are <laughs> always pans. <laughs> <laughs>so we're about to dig in today is the last day of black history month and we hope that you guys enjoyed us preparing this feast when we started our channel four years ago there weren't that many black vegan channels on the platform especially being of caribbean descent we are proud that we are here and we are making our impact Woo! Woo! <laughs> let's dig in <laughs> Get that cookbook, guys. Get that always pan. Everything will be in the description box. The links to everything. Get the shrimp from VegCo. 
And if you like Caribbean recipes, sign up for our newsletter. We might have a sign up for up our newsletter. We do have some exciting news coming up, but you will have to sign up to the newsletter to find out what that information is. Let's eat! Let's eat! <laughs> <laughs> and guys for dessert we have sour sop ice cream homemade oh made it's actually the recipe from our cookbook with some sour sop and a couple of tweaks but look tweaks. at that tweaks <laughs> guys if you want us to do this recipe on the channel hit the comment section let us know until next time.